decentralized AI has the potential to dramatically reshape the industries. Big tech is going to be dramatically upturned, financial services will be dramatically upturned, and it's hard to see many industries that aren't going to be dramatically affected by AI and, and crypto together. Because the pace of AI is developing so quickly, how can any organization only has its own employees, that only has its own tech infrastructure, how can they keep up with the pace and the evolution of all of these algorithms? You have reached Toby and Brent. We'll get back to you. All right, we are in Singapore during Token 2049 week and Formula One. Right behind us, the race cars are already going. We have Janet here with us. Janet, you work with Singularity Net and ASI. You do a lot of things in the AI space. And I think that's one of the big topics this crypto week, how AI and crypto work together. But please give the audience your kind of background and what kind of brings you to Singapore. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Toby. Thank you, The Best Event, for inviting me onto your podcast. I'm Janet Adams. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of SingularityNet, as well as a board member of the Artificial Superintelligence Alliance. I'm here with some of my team here in Singapore, really bringing the messages that there are some very, very dramatic revolutions about to take place in the crypto space, in the AI and crypto space. And, you know, making building partnerships, coming to the Formula One race with you guys. Yeah, and I think it's really a, a very like hot narrative, right? How AI and crypto, especially when it comes to infrastructure, are going to accelerate growth, not just for our industry, but also like Web Web 2. So how are you guys kind of doing that? Like, how do you see the next couple of years um, of integrating AI with, with crypto? I would go further. I would say it's not just a hot narrative. I would say it is the hottest narrative. Yeah. And we see, we see this around yeah. at Token 2049, right? AI, decentralized AI, has the potential, and that potential which is now coming to fruition, to dramatically reshape the industries yeah. that currently hold such a great monopoly on the world's markets. So big tech is going to be dramatically upturned, financial services will be dramatically upturned, and it's hard to see many industries that aren't going to be dramatically affected by AI and, and crypto together, AI and blockchain together. So there are two kind of central points I'd like to, to bring to your audience uh, today. One is why decentralization is about to truly start to fulfill its promise through decentralized AI. So let's start with decentralized AI for the moment. For, for the moment. Obviously at SingularityNet, we're the OGs of decentralized AI, formed in 2017. Our leader, our visionary leader, Dr. Ben Gertzel, he's been working on artificial general intelligence yeah. since he was about 20, you know, for coming up to 40 years, I would say. Jesus. Right? He first coined the phrase, he first published, published the phrase AGI, absolute visionary. He made his first attempt at AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, in 1998. It's like just so audacious as a move, in, obviously didn't work. And we are still moving towards AGI. So for your audience's benefit, AGI is Artificial General Intelligence. It's AI that's going to be as smart as humans and then smarter, which is when we get into super intelligence. And we're predicting that AGI, that we will develop AGI at the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance within one to three years of now. It's kind of aligned with Ray Kurzweil's timing when yeah. he first introduced the term of the singularity, the technological singularity, which he was predicting for 2029. Now, Ben Gertzel always had a vision of that AGI when he invents it, because he's such an open-hearted man, that it would be for the benefit of everyone, not just for the benefit of the few, not just for power, not just for money. And of course, that's why we are such a, oh, was, we are the racing to the, the finish line. As I hear us. those yeah. cars, it makes my heart race too. Yeah. It is literally, literally <laughs> it is right literally here. here. As we are racing to the finish line. So the AGI race is the hottest race on the planet today. Mm -hmm. uh, Google, Microsoft, all of big tech and a number of startups are all, all building on this race because yeah. we can see the power of AI. The world has woken up to the power of AI with today's large language models and neural networks, but they're still extremely limited. AGI will be more creative. It will have the ability to actually reason. 
to perform complex multi-step reasoning. Us being at the forefront of AGI, AGI is coming, but before AGI and in the path to AGI, the reason why, when I first started at SingularityNet and first started following Ben Goertzel's work, which was early 2018, I believed him, I believed what he said, that decentralized AI was going to be the future and is going to be the way that AGI will be built. And what I'm now finding is I've, I've shifted, in the landscape has shifted. In the last six months, I've shifted from believing to conviction. Mm. I now feel it. I feel I mean, it. I think we can feel it on this podcast, yeah. right? <laughs> like you're, you're literally there, you're present. We are there, and it's, it's almost as if it's already happened. Thank yeah. you. What I've come to, to truly understand now is that big tech simply cannot compete with the pace of AI development that can happen in a decentralized environment. Suddenly, the decentralization movement becomes, or is on the brink of becoming more powerful than centralized than centralized technologies and centralized companies. And that's because the pace at which AI is developing, it's 10x a year, right? So AI yeah, capabilities, 10x a year, we've never seen that before. Right. That's like a thousand X in three years. Yeah. You know, it's super it's exponential. Crazy. Because the pace of AI is developing so quickly, how can any organization that only has its own employees, that only has its own tech infrastructure, that has a closed wall garden, how can they keep up with the pace and the evolution of all of these algorithms? Whereas in a decentralized AI environment with millions of builders building on our ASI tools and, and other tools that are out there, the pace of growth is infinite it's unlimited and so what we can see is yeah. with multiple algorithmic types interacting on blockchain and blockchain uniquely gives them the ability to interact and transact with each other they will grow learn evolve perform mm -hmm. and push each other continuously to hire new innovations how can big tech actually compete with that where they've got to hire common. people and go through a hiring process and then they've got to have their wall gardens and then they've got to do all their you yeah. know well, upgrade processes and work with all of their legacy systems yeah and i think even just to even take it even to just like the practical day-to-day -day, right a lot of crypto exchanges right want to bring like new customers into web 2 and like you think about the gen z population they don't resonate with the big banks like the Bank of America is the Chase is the HSBCs, right? They go into crypto. And with decentralized crypto, like, and combining that with AI, do you see a world where you don't even need a bank? Oh, because you that's, bet a, that's I a, see a world. Yeah. That's a world I feel as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so in my background, I worked in banking, traditional banking for yeah, 25 talk about years. Dino dinosaurs not moving quickly, <laughs> not adapting. Right. Yeah. Well, that's right. changed now. That, that, that <laughs> has definitely changed now. So, 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 after a career in uh, traditional banking, I fully understand the full banking industry from front to back. And I've worked in most areas, mostly commercial corporate banking, investment banking, a little bit of retail, a little bit of insurance, a little bit of trade finance. The whole stack. The whole stack. <laughs> and there are decentralized DeFi product opportunities right across that whole stack. Mm -hmm. So number one, we can dramatically decrease the cost of provision of products and services and financial products and financial boost to the economy, we can dramatically decrease the cost of that and the friction of that to the end user. And what that means and what I'm really passionate about along with Van Goertzel and our, our, our entire ASI Alliance team is that all of the the profits that are currently generated by these industries and go into the hands of a few shareholders can now go back into the economy, into the, into the pockets of those brilliant, the brilliant men and women and all genders all across the planet who are the backbone of growth and, and, and the backbone of innovation and who put the food on the tables of the, the children. So what we're effectively, what I really effectively see is blockchain and AI together being able to create a new DeFi infrastructure that can completely disintermediate the banks. Some may catch up, some may move yeah. into blockchain, into crypto, mm -hmm. into to our methods. The, those who adapt and evolve, great. They adapt and evolve and they get with the new paradigm, which is a paradigm of 
smart contracts, advanced privacy, regulatory compliance built in mm -hmm. to with AI and smart contracts working together across DeFi to to just to give the world what it deserves. And if, if we look at, I mean, everybody's talking about AI, right? Everybody and of course, is. most of the people have probably understood now that this is a technology that is going to make a lot of very substantial changes. Now, on the other set, on the other hand, a lot of people are claiming, look, decentralized AI, decentralized technology is great, but it's not there yet in order to execute, right? So, like from an infrastructure perspective, if you look at AI and you know, the decentralized tech effectively, what do you think needs to happen from a shift perspective in order to give it like a proper, you know, a proper breeding ground to really expand and, you know, hit the finish race? And as we do we're, right we're in pole position of <laughs> ASI Alliance with this one, I can absolutely tell you. We've got the, we've got the uh, infrastructure coming. Really great question. Thank you. Yes, everyone's talking about AI. A lot of people are doing it. But they're working with these large language models and large language models and deep neural networks. It's, it's been the whole direction of the industry for the last decade. And sure, they're super powerful, but they have some such big limitations and constraints. You know, they still hallucinate. We still haven't been able to, to stop that. But from an infrastructure and adoption perspective for the next phase, large language models are currently too heavy to really put on yeah. chain and work on chain. But what we're starting to see is more open source large language models coming out. We've got Gamma, we've got DeepSeq, even OpenAI have released an open source large language model. And what open sourcing it does is it dramatically improves its efficiency and it reduces its weight from a parametric perspective. So number one, we need open sourcing, more open sourcing on chain. But number two, the kind of AI that we work on in Singularity that is not just neural, it's not just large language models, because large language models are they're clunky, they're heavy, they're massively resource hungry in terms of compute, energy and time and data that they suck up. We work with a type of AI called neural symbolic AI and neural symbolic AI enables much, much greater condensing of knowledge and of information. It has different processing. It has a lot more parallel processing than all this great big sequential up and down deep neural network processing. So it's much kinder to the planet and it is it enables logic and reasoning. So what we're doing at, at the ASI Alliance, we are developing our own layer one chain called ASI ASI chain and it is optimized for AI to AI interactions. But the smart contracts, so another infrastructural upgrade that we need yeah. is, an, is an upgrade to the smart contract languages being used, Solidity, Rust, Haskell, they, they are not built for AI and they're not built for multi-step complex reasoning, but using our new, our own functional programming language, which is dedicated to AGI called Meta, we're using, we're using an AI dedicated yeah. programming language for our smart contracts, which means within the smart, the smart contracts can become smart agentic systems by themselves, and they can club together and they can they can compose in a co composable sense to perform all of those processes that the banking industry does so expensively and so slowly and so full of friction for the end user. Uh, so, so new programming language for smart contracts that enables complex multi-step process reasoning and logic and consideration of broader variables instead of just being if then like today's smart contracts. We need, we also need tools for developers and we're releasing our ASI create platform and we need smart neural symbolic AI methods. And again, by the end of this year, we're going to be releasing our OpenCog Hyperon platform, which is, you know, giving birth to Ben's great, great vision, uh, building upon his three to four decades of research into AGI. So it's, it's really like, a, it's a full upgrade, basically. It is a full upgrade. It's, it's not a... just, a, because, uh, you know, we, we also run a venture fund and we see a lot of projects, right? That yes. they're trying to, all yes. doing something different, but it's always like just a little feature add to something that's already there, yes. right? And I feel like you guys are really completely game-changing it. We are completely right? it's like, game-changing. It's like a full, from scratch start, of like, hey, how can we build something that enables exactly 
what this new AI powered world will need on a decentralized aspect. Yeah, and that's why what you guys are building is, I think, perfect timing this week during Token to make some big announcements and partnerships. As we wrap up here, where can people follow or learn more about what you guys are doing? Well, please come to the Superintelligence website, superintel artificialsuperintelligence.io. Follow us on X, follow us on LinkedIn, follow us on, on all of the socials, and come and get involved. If you're a builder, come and build. We're releasing our ASI Create platform, and we're, we're running hackathons. We've been running hackathons in India and Africa wow. to familiarize builders with our meta-functional programming language. So mm. come to our hackathons. We've got a suite of those planned for the rest of this year. So come and follow us and be part of what we we want to work with everyone in web three and we also want to build bridges into web two as well we want to bring efficiency we want to bring innovation and most importantly we want to bring massive changes in the structural inequalities of the planet and deliver on those unique cypherpunk ideals that we all hold and why we're all this. here together listening to these incredible cars <laughs> racing around, <laughs> knowing that we're in pole position and we're going to win that AGI race. Let's go. I think we're all fired Let's up. Let's go. we got the race coming up. <laughs> we have also, you know, like tomorrow, we'll be spending a lot of time together and I'm very excited I'm to very excited. You know, meet the team, you know, speak more with you about exactly, you know, what all the different features and upcoming releases are. We're going to have a bunch of cool, awesome people here. We're going to watch the race, network, have a great time. So I really, really appreciate you being on yeah, and you, spending you know, the next couple of days with us. Thank you. And I really appreciate you and all your team. You've been such a delight to work with and uh, such a pleasure to work with you on this. So thank you for inviting me on your podcast. Thanks to the listeners for watching and just thanks to the universe to exactly. be here on the brink of such an incredible breakthrough. <laughs> 100%. Amazing. Thanks, Janet. And thank we'll you. get back to you.